Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the two important properties in the flex that is nothing but flex grow and also the flex shrink. How these both are related to each other and also how it plays an important role in the combination with the flex basis. Let's try to see. For example, let's say that if I try to mention this one as a flex one, okay. So if I mention this one as a flex one, so that means both the child elements. So that means child means here both the child elements, and here first child, and also this is the second child. Now if I mention this one as a flex one, if you try to understand, or otherwise I will try to mention it here, and also for here also I will mention it. If I mention these both the things as a flex one, you see both have been extended. To the parent container so both has shared all the space with the parent container here we have already discussed what is this flex one so this is nothing but a shorthand property it's a combination of the three properties combined we will be writing it here those are nothing but flex grow i can mention it as a flex grow and another one is a flex shrink and the last one is the flex basis so these three combination the shorthand is nothing but flex one so here if you mention this one as a flex one then what is the values of these all things are flex grow is one okay and also the flex shrink is one and the flex basis is zero so this is the shorthand property of this flex one so if you write like this and if you, if you write it like this also both are one and the same only so that means flex one is a combination of flex grow flex shrink and also the flex basis so then what is this flex grow and flex shrink we have learned about the flex basis as something like uh, width how it will behave depending on the direction the flex basis will become width if it is a row it will be it will, it will be height if it comes to the flex direction of column so for example let's say that let's remove this flex one now we understood i am mentioning this for both of this one flex basis as 100 pixel so that means each child item is taking the width of minimum width of 100 pixel so this is the flex basis meaning so now if i try to minimize minify this one minimize this one we try to see here the item and item 2 both are shrinking okay so that means the minimum width is taking is 100 pixel fine but it but the but when the container is but the when the parent container is less than the 200 pixel means the combination of two chain then the child containers both are trying to shrink to each other okay so this is this is because the flex shrink property for this one by default it is a one for example let's say that let's go to the flex grow first let's learn about the flex grow property here if you try to see the item and the item two these are the two child elements we are having it right and now if you try to see this one is having 100 pixel and the item two is having 100 pixel so that means total it is taking 200 pixel from the parent container now here the parent container this pink color it is there right light coral color and this all is the leftover space remaining in the parent now this leftover space i need to share it for this item two let's say that i need to share it for this item two so then what we can do is for the item two right so for the second element so here i can mention this one as flex grow of one so when you mention this as flex grow of one see automatically the item two has taken the all the remaining space available in the parent container but the item is still 100 pixel only but the item two has been extended now let's say that <clears throat> i flex grow i will remove this one I want to share that space here, the parent container space, what is left over. I want to share the space between for these two items equally. I want to share it for these two items equally. Then what I can do is here, flex grow one. And also for this first element also, I can write it as flex grow of one. So now both are having one. So the space is equally distributed to these two elements. So how many elements are there for the, here we are having only two elements because of the reason two are sharing the equally the remaining space if you are having four or five elements or three elements means all the elements will share the same space so this is the use of flex grow 
not only the thing so the two elements the flex grow are in related relation to each other it will be related to each other how these both are related to each other is for example let's say that i am having here flex grow of 2 so if you mention this one as flex grow of 2 so here see the combination has been changed what is happened here so the first element the space it has to double than the item 2 okay so how it will be divided is the remaining space will be divided into three parts let's say that we are having 300 pixel as the remaining space so 300 pixel is the space remaining in the parent container and these are divided into three parts that is nothing but 100 plus 100 and 100 so like this three parts it will be divided why three parts is divided is here we are having flex grow 2 and the second element is having flex grow of 1 so that means 2 plus 1 3 so we are dividing into three parts now two parts is shared for this one so that means 200 pixel is shared by the first element and the remaining one part is shared by the for this element so like this the division will be okay so flex grow 2 means it will take double the size of this one so that is one thing you need to understand it so that is the usage that is the, that is the usage of flex grow so these both are related to each other now flex grow it has took it right now when i try to minimize it let's see what will happen so when you minimize this one so equally it will try to shrink it if you try to see here equally it will, it will try to shrink it now i want to see that when it reaches this 100 pixel both are 100 pixel right now so when it reaches this 100 pixel so what will happen let's see so if you are trying to see here then also it is trying to shrink it okay so another thing you want to understand is here when i am trying to increase both are increasing proportionally okay both are increasing proportionally until this 100 pixel threshold has been reached so when this 100 pixel so when this has took 100 pixel now both are expanding in the same manner when this 100 pixel has been came now item will take the more space double space than the item 2 so if you try to see here so it is taking double space you will be able to observe when i when i write it as a 10 so now you will be able to observe see so if i give here let's try to add it and want something like this see here so this is the space it has taken so much of space it has taken item 2 has taken very less now if i try to decrease this one let's try to decrease this one see item item is decreasing now here if you try to see both are decreasing in the same manner so both are in the equal uh, equal width now if i try to increase this one see slowly i am trying to increase so when it reaches the 100 pixel so up to 100 pixel of flex basis it will both will expand it proportionally equally but when it reaches the 100 pixel after the 100 pixel item starts to increase very rapid than the item 2 so that is one thing you need to understand so flex grow up to the flex basis of 100 pixel it will the flex grow will not work so when it reaches the when the elements reaches 100 pixel the flex grow these all things will work so this is the usage of this flex grow property okay so flex grow property will work in relation to each other with the elements so whenever you give flex grow of one one means equally the space will be divided to each other when i save it yeah here equally the pay space will be divided to each other and if you try to do this one it will shrink it automatically will shrink it so this is because of the flex shrink property Let, let's try to see it in the next session so this is about the flex grow property you need to understand about this one and how it behaves with the flex basis thing also you need to understand it Hope you understood about the flex grow property if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you